everybody and welcome back. Today is a book haul. It's a Christmas book haul. I have been so very fortunate this year to have people that have sent gifts to me. I don't know what I've done to deserve this much. You guys do not have to get me anything, but I am so very grateful to have even anything sitting around, much less what I have sitting next to me. So I am so very excited. I have been stockpiling gifts since the beginning of December, and I will, unfortunately, I did open a couple before realizing that they were gifts, but for the most part, I have tried to stockpile. I have no idea what's in these boxes. I have not looked at my wish list. I know nothing. Like, all of this is going to be a complete surprise. Anyway, let's open some presents. Ah! Okay, I have no idea where to start, so we're just gonna grab one and we're gonna open it. And hopefully I don't need scissors because I don't know where my scissors are. Okay, I'm gonna try to find the gift notes first. So this one says, happy holidays. So happy to have you as a friend. Also, let me know if you want to buddy read this book from Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee. <gasps> yes, I'm so excited to have this because for one, it's been on my list for forever. This is The City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. And for two, recently read The Cruel Gods um, 13th Hour by Trudy Skies for SPFBO. And Cassidy said that that kind of really gave her vibes of City of Stairs, only she liked City of Stairs, I think, a little bit better, or Robert Jackson Bennett vibes. And so I've been dying to pick this one up. And absolutely, Kaylee, I definitely want to buddy read this. I am so excited. I don't know a ton of what this is about. I know it is like like an urban fantasy but make it a little more epic is kind of how Cassidy described it and this is a story that involves a city that once wielded the power of gods to conquer the world and enslave millions but then the divine protectors were killed the history has then been censored and erased and thousands of its cities citizens have been subjugated but into this broken city steps our main character Sahar Shara, I think is how you say that. Um, she is an unassuming young woman who is just another junior diplomat. Unofficially, she is one of the country's most accomplished spies, dispatched along with her terrifying secretary to solve a murder. I love a fantasy that kind of does a little bit of genre bending and has a murder mystery to it. So I am so, so excited to have this. Thank you so much, Kaylee. This is gonna be fun. Okay, um, what's next? Let's just grab this one a big book. Like it's all a very thick book. Okay. So this one just says Merry Christmas from Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Let's see. It's a big book. What is it? It's got to be a fantasy romance or a romance because that's just who Melissa is. <gasps> Thank you so much, Melissa. This is all the roads lead here by Marina Zapata. I've been wanting to try a Mariana Zapata for so long and I just didn't know where to start. Sports romances are not usually my thing and that's kind of what she leans toward, but I think this one is a little bit different. Um, it says, losing people you love is hard. Aurora knows moving back to a place that was once home is not going to be easy. Starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be, but a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart. This sounds like a perfect winter read. We're talking about mountains. I actually have the audiobook for this. I'm so excited. So thank you so very much, Melissa. This is a contemporary romance. Okay. Next, we're going to do one that I've actually already opened because I was bad. I was bad. So this was for Rye's Patreon. We did a gift swap and she did Elfster and I got a an early Christmas present because this is one of her favorite series. Thank you for the sprints, watch alongs, and discussions, and Merry Christmas. This is from Clementine, and that is Fugitive Trilometry by Martha Wells. This is the sixth book, I think, in the Murderbot series. I'm a little bit behind. I still think... I want to say I've gotten up to Network Effect, which is the full-length novel. I'm looking at them because they're over there. But Murderbot follows a very follows a murder bot, but they're just trying to figure out how they fit into the world. They don't exactly love murder and they would rather people just leave them alone to watch their soap operas. I've really enjoyed murder bot and I'm looking forward to continuing the series. And I just, I have a hard time making myself buy hardcover novellas. So Clementine, this is one I wouldn't have bought for myself. Thank you so much. Okay, next. There's just something so satisfying about doing that on the first try. 
Oh, wait, I think the gift notes got entangled. Hang on. It got taped into the... <laughs> it literally got, like, taped into the side. Oh, no. That's okay. I can still read it. Hope you enjoy your books. Merry Christmas from Casey. Thank you so much, Casey. I think I'm saying that right. K-A-S-S-E-Y. Tell me if I'm not. Let me know because I want to get it right. Ah, Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I've actually read this one and I really, really wanted a physical copy of it because I just, I love the cover and I'm so excited to have this and be able to continue the series. This follows Alex who is having to basically babysit his best friend's younger sister and the best friend's younger sister is trying to get him to show any kind of emotion because she's never seen him actually show any emotion and it's a sort of enemies to lovers contemporary romance. I had a really good time with it and I'm super curious to see how this series progresses because I think it was Kaylee said that she loved the second book in the series even though this one wasn't her ultimate favorite. So I'm so 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 excited to have this and to include it in my collection. Like look at the flop on that thing. It's it's perfect. Okay. Let's do the other one that I actually already opened by mistake because I didn't look at the gift note and I really, really, really want to know who this is from. Oh, Casey, you did not need to get me two things. Well, she also got me The Passengers by Justin Crowen. This is one that I not even realized had been out or was a thing until not too, too long ago. I think Lexi for Books with Lexi read it. And then my dad actually read it a couple of weeks ago and really, really enjoyed it. He said it was slow. It had some exposition, but the story overall, he found really interesting. It's a vampire slow burn horror. And the way that he described it, just, it had me on board. I am so, so excited to read this one. I mean, it's a really big book, but he said it went by really, really fast. And honestly, I can't wait. I'm so excited to have this. So thank you so much. You spoil me. Okay, next. This is one of those that has the, am I gonna be able to open it? I don't know. Yeah, that's sanitary. <laughs> Got it. Gift note, gift note, gift note. I'm so curious about this book, so unfortunately no witty gift note from Rachel. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Ooh, Herald of the Storm by Richard Ford. So the reason Rachel says she's curious about this book is because she's the one that maybe put it on the wish list in the first place. I don't think that Rachel's read it yet, but we were both talking about what a cool cover it was, and it's from Headline, so it's a UK publisher. I don't even know if it's technically out in the US. It is seriously floppy. Anyway, and I'm just going to read you guys the back blurb because I remember reading it when I put it on my wish list, but I don't remember what it's about now. So, stand together. The vast city port of Steelhaven was once a symbol of strength, maintaining an uneasy peace throughout the free states. But with the king away leading his armies, the city is rotting from the inside and the streets are slick with blood. And now the dark cloud hangs over the capital in the form of a dread warlord called Amon Tuga. When his herald infiltrates the city, exploiting dangerous criminal underworld and a dark magic begins to rise, the fate of the free states will fall into the hands of the most unlikely saviors. Sounds interesting. It kind of gives me grim dark feels and I'm really, really excited to read this one. Rachel, if you have gotten your hands on it and you want to buddy read it, let me know. Although I'm kind of failing on our buddy reads because I still have not caught up on the expanse. Okay, this one is in a box. So let's, oh no. I said let's open the box, but I may need scissors because Amazon got crafty and like taped it. What are you doing, Amazon? We're just gonna rip the box. Cause you know, why not? I think I know who this is from. I had to see the book first to get it open. It didn't give me a gift note. It just, it just says enjoy your gift, a gift note. But it didn't give me the gift note. Come on, Amazon. Well, crap. I have a feeling this might be Deb. But if it's not, or even if it is Deb, please tell me because I want to properly thank you. But this is Deadline by Mira Grant, which is the second book in the, what's the series called? I don't remember. I do not remember the series name. 
But anyway, it's the sequel to Feed. And I loved Feed when I read it this year. It took me by complete surprise because it's not a book that I thought I was going to enjoy. It follows our main character and her brother and friends who are journalists. And they, it's an apocalyptic world where they tried to cure two different things and then people ended up getting those cures together and basically it made zombies. And they are wanting to follow the presidential election in this post-apocalyptic world and follow around one of these. I think he's the Republican candidate, essentially. He's not called that, but that's the impression that I got. And I really, I was so surprised by how much I enjoyed that book. And it did something in the end that I'm a little bit worried might make me not love this one. But at the same time, if she hadn't done it, I don't know if I would like the book as much as I did. So I'm really, really glad that she did that. But I'm now very curious to see how I feel about this one. I know the reason I say that I wonder if it's from Deb is because I know that she's read the full series. We've talked about it several times and she really enjoyed the next few books. I think it was book four that's technically the first book written from another perspective, maybe was not her favorite, but the core series she really liked. So I am so excited to have this. And to give it a try. But I'm still mad at Amazon for not giving me the gift note. Okay, um, another box. Why are none of my boxes giving me the pulley tab? Half the fun is the pulley tab. I'm gonna end up breaking a nail. <laughs> okay, when they're open like this though, it makes it so hard to find the gift note first. And Amazon, you are dumb. There's no gift note in this one either. Well, dang it. So whoever the super kind and amazing person was that sent me a summer, a shadow in summer by Daniel Abram, will you please let me know? Because this is the tall paperback, the actual trade paperback that I haven't been able to find. I have the mass market and I was sad that I had the mass market. And so I'm really, really grateful that I have the trade paperback. I'm very excited. I have not read any of Daniel Abram's books, but I've heard a lot of people that really, really enjoyed them. This is the one that I am very excited for, but cautiously optimistic, but I'm really excited for it. So this is about a group that is kind of a spiritual entity that when they're bound by the poets has the power to use a kind of magic. And we're in a city that these local spirits are under the control of the city's poet and they're used to speed up harvest but are damaging the economy of the city. There's an intricate plot. I think it is a relatively character driven book which could work for me, could not, but I'm so excited to try it. There is, it's a quartet so there's four books in this series and I'm just, I'm excited. Thank you so much to whoever got this for me. Then we'll just, we'll save the boxes for last. This one has a pulley tab. Okay, there's actually a gift note in this one. Merry Christmas. I'm so thankful that BookTube brought me a best friend. I hope you enjoy. Love you, Rye. Thank you, Rye. BookTube brought me some of the bestest of friends, and I am so, so grateful for you. Okay. Ooh, she got me The Deep by Nick Cutter. I think that Rye has heard me say a million times this year that I am really feeling the water horror, and that's what this is. This is water horror. I've not read The Troop by Nick Cutter yet. I've heard that it does have some like animal situations and so I've been putting it off a little bit but I've been very very curious about The Deep and I am so excited to give this one a try. I don't know anything about it other than it's water horror and people seem to really enjoy Nick Cutter and I'm excited to read it so thank you so much Rye. So then we have two boxes, which I'm going to attempt to rip into. I've already seen what the book is, dang it. It's okay. Aw. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Love getting to know you and being part of the community you've created and look forward to more to come. And I really enjoy this one and I hope you do too. From Deb. Thank you so much, Deb. You are one of my favoritest people and I'm so, so grateful that you decided to be a part of the community because it would not be the same without you. But she got me The Nothing Man by Katherine Ryan Howard. I think the only Katherine Ryan Howard that I've read was the one about the pandemic and I had a really good time with it. This one seems like a super straightforward story about a serial killer and you kind of already know who the killer is. 
but something tells me that that's not going to be the case. It says, I was the girl who survived the nothing man. And now I am the woman who is going to catch him. I think this has winter vibes, if I'm not mistaken. And I've heard some really, really good things about it. So maybe I'll try to pick this up in like January or February and get those cold vibes. And then we have, I think, two more. One that's a book and one that I don't know what it is. I can't get it open. <laughs> oh, there. Finally. <laughs> This says, Merry Christmas, I love you so much from Cassidy. Thank you, Cassidy. And she got me Little Eve by Katrina Ward. I, first of all, absolutely love this cover. It just looks so creepy. This is about cults. I think it's a religious cult, if I'm not mistaken. And it's set on the wildest coast of Scotland. I love The Last House on Eagle Street when I read it last year, I believe. Then I picked up Sundial and I don't really know what my problem is, but for some reason have not read it yet. And now they have republished this one and I'm so excited to read it. I know Lexi also really loved uh, The Last House on Eagle Street and she's reading it this month. So I hope that she loves it and I cannot wait to read it. So sorry if the angle change is different. This is gonna be a quick intermission because I cleaned up everything in the floor, literally walked into my living room and the doorbell rang and there were two more Amazon packages. One of them is a really big, really heavy box. So let's open these really quickly, shall we? I'm just, I am astounded by how awesome and sweet you guys are. Like, this is incredible. Yet another one where Amazon sent me the gift receipt, but not the gift note. If whoever sent me this could please let me know, I would be so very grateful. Wait, 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 wait. Gift note. Oh, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. So happy we became friends this year. Can't wait for what next year brings. Maria. Maria, thank you so much. I am so excited to read this. It has been sitting on my want to read shelf for so long and I cannot wait. This is an epic fantasy. This covers honestly are really cool. Even though it's red, I, I like the monochrome. This works for me. And I've just been dying to read this. It's also published by Orbit. And I have a couple that would work really well for that series that I was telling you guys I might try to do next year, like the publisher battle. I'm so excited. War built the empire, war will tear it down. Uh, I think this is going to be so good. And again, that flop. Uh, thank you so much, Maria. And the really heavy box was dog food. So super exciting present for Ollie. <laughs> So let's cut back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming, shall we? Okay, and then the last one I think is a present. If it's not, I will cut out this clip, but it's not a book. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's round. And so when I got it off the porch, I was very, very confused. Is there a note in here? There's no note. But this is definitely a present. Uh, well, I have, this is, who is this from? I don't, it could, there could be a couple of people, but I love this. It says, in a world of bookworms, be a book dragon. I adore this so much. And then it's got the like times on it with books. That is amazing. That is incredible. I love this so much. Look at him. Look at him with those little glasses. How cute. Oh, that's awesome. Well, whoever sent me this, thank you so much. Please let me know because this is incredible. Like I want him on a sticker and a mug and the water bottle and just in generally anywhere that I can put a cool dragon sitting on books with some glasses. It sounds like a great plan. So whoever sent this to me, thank you so very much. But thank you guys so much. I am surrounded by the best people and I just appreciate you all so very much like you have no idea and I'm blessed I just I'm not gonna say anything else I'm not gonna be as happy anymore but thank you thank you thank you so much I cannot wait to get to some of these books in this stack like I'm so excited I would love to just throw out my entire TBR and get to some of these but I can't do that I gotta be good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have read any of these books and which ones you think I should start with. If you did give me a present and for some reason Amazon was stupid and did not 
put a gift note in there. Let me know who it was from down below. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you just want to say you were here, leave me a little gift box emoji and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!